Making sense of phrasal prepositions in English. Hello, English language learners. Today we're going to dive into an important part of English grammar, phrasal prepositions. Phrasal prepositions can seem tricky at first, but once you understand how they work, you'll find that they are quite logical and useful in everyday language. Phrasal prepositions, also known as compound prepositions, are prepositions that are made up of two or more words. For example, phrases like, in spite of, on top of, and, due to, are all phrasal prepositions. They work just like regular prepositions. They help to link words together, providing extra information about time, place, or reason. There are many phrasal prepositions in English, and some are used more frequently than others. Here are a few examples. Because of, this indicates a reason or cause. Example, he couldn't attend the meeting because of his illness. In front of, this indicates a location. Example, the bus stop is in front of the school. Instead of, this indicates an alternative or substitution. Example, I went to the park instead of studying. One of the main challenges with phrasal prepositions is knowing how to use them correctly. But here's a tip. Treat them as a single unit. Although they are made up of multiple words, they function as a single preposition. Remember that a preposition must always be followed by a noun, a pronoun, or a noun group. For example, in the sentence, we went to the beach in spite of the rain. In spite of, is the phrasal preposition and the ron is the noun group that follows it. To master phrasal prepositions, the key is practice. Start by incorporating them into your everyday writing and speaking. Try to use them when you're describing events, telling stories, or explaining something. So there you have it, an introduction to phrasal prepositions. These phrases can add depth and detail to your sentences, so don't be afraid to use them. And remember, as with any new aspect of language learning, practice is the key. Don't worry if you make mistakes, they are part of the learning process. I hope this video has been helpful. Happy learning, and until next time.